finally, let's take a look at how we share and publish our website so others can view it. So first of all, let's talk about adding collaborators to our website. So just like other Google tools, you can make other people collaborators and they can help you with editing and creating your Google site. In order to do that, you're gonna go up here to the little person with the plus, hit that, and you're gonna share it with others. And just like you have with other um, Google tools, you will just type in the name of the person that you want to share it with. You can choose whether they are an editor um, or they can only be a published viewer or you can add an expiration. Now, if you're going to share your site with someone like this, it should be the people that you want to be able to edit that as well. And then you can send that to them so that they can be a contributor and edit the site with you. Okay. Another thing that you probably want to do as you're creating your site before you publish it is that you can preview it. So up here you have a little button that kind of looks like um, a computer screen and then maybe a little cell phone or device screen in front of it. You have over it, it says preview. If I click on that, I'm going to get a preview of my site. So the default preview that comes up is going to be what your site would look like if you're looking at it on a desktop, a Chromebook, a computer, a laptop. Okay, then you have some other options. You can click here, and this is gonna show you what it would look like if you were looking at it on a tablet. And then you can also click and see what it would look like if you were looking at it on a phone. So you can get a preview of each of those to make sure that it's gonna look the way that you want it to look. You can exit that preview when you're finished. It's gonna take you back to your editing screen for your Google site. Okay, when you get ready to publish, you are going to click on publish. When you do this for the very first time, it's gonna come up and it's going to show you your web address for this. So by default, if I look underneath here, by default, the first part of your Google site web address is always gonna be https colon slash slash sites dot google dot com uh, slash Murray dot schools dot us since you are part of the Murray Independent Organization slash and then whatever you customize the back half to be. So it's going to by default make the name of it whatever the name of your site is what up here, but you can customize that. So if I just want to call it Morgan's Tech, I can do that. Okay. Who can view my site? By default, it's going to be anyone within your organization. So if you only want people within your organization to be able to see your site, then you can leave it at that. If you are making a class website that you want parents to be able to see, they're not part of our organization, so you may want to manage that. And you may want to change that to the published site being viewable to either restricted, again, that would just default it to the people that you've shared it with, it's set on Murray Independent, or you can make it public. Okay, and then you're gonna click Done. So now, because I've made it public, I can also decide whether I want it to be searchable in search engines like Google. Okay, now I'm gonna hit Publish. Now my site is published and it is active. Okay, so up here I can copy the published link if I want to see what it looks like when it gets published. So I'm going to open a tab here. I'm going to paste it in, and now I can see that when I open it up, it's this is what my published site is going to look like. If someone goes to this website, this is what they are going to see. They're going to be able to scroll down and see all of the things that I have put on the site. Okay, now I am logged into my Google account, so I also want to make sure that this works with people that are not in our organization, not logged into Google. So I'm going to open an incognito window, which is a window that represents what it would look like if you were not logged into your school account. I'm going to paste that site in there. I'm going to make sure it works and it comes up so I can see that anybody then that has access to that link will be able to see the site. So I know it's going to work correctly. Okay. Now, once you create a Google site, it can be updated. Okay. You can continually update and change the site as you would like to. So let's say I go in here and um, I am going to uh, insert another image in here. So I'm going to do upload. Okay. 
Uh, and I'm going to pick another image to upload. And I'm going to pull it up here so it's beside this picture. And it's ready to go. Now, before I show you how to update your website, I have put that new picture in there. But if I go to the actual published site, notice that once it loads, the picture that I just inserted when I was on my edit screen for my Google site is not there. Okay. Um, here's where I inserted it and it's not showing up yet. That's because I have not republished the site. So I'm going to go back to my site here. I can see where I've got this. I'm going to hit publish again. When you do this, and you are updating it, it's going to show you your website side by side and it's going to show you what's currently published and then it's going to show you the draft version with the changes that you are making and once you are happy with and you look at those and you say okay well it's going to change to this instead of having just my picture and that's what I want so I'm ready to go so you can see where the changes are. If you're happy with that, then you're gonna hit publish and it's gonna update that. So if I go back to the viewing of my published site, I'm gonna refresh it. Now I will see that once I have done that, that that image is going to show up. Okay, so I've got that image there and now it's still loading. So give it just a second. And now that image is there. So you can make updates and please notice that if you make updates on your editing screen and you don't publish them, they are still going to be saved as your draft updates. They just won't be live on your published site until you hit publish. Okay. You do have the option to unpublish your site if you ever want to um, so that you can, you can take it down and it won't be published anymore. So you have that option as well if you ever choose to. But that is how you would uh, preview, add collaborators, um, and publish and update your Google site.